excuse me. Four, eight, zero. Go. <laughs> on the way to yeah. but then I saw you and you looked very like German and blonde and oh. cute and I want to say hi. Hi, I'm not German. I'm You're not? Swedish. You're Swedish. <laughs> yeah. Are you actually from Sweden? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. I only know a few things in Swedish. Oh, really? Yeah, so I know like lingonberry. Yeah. If you had those, do you like that? Yeah. And then uh, very typical with meatballs. I know min auskling. Yeah. Yeah. Then you a know a couple things. of words. Midsummer, that's a thing. Yeah. I'm going to Sweden actually. No way. Where? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to Stockholm, mm -hmm. which I heard is kind of like more. The capital, yeah. People are more like stressed or something. Uh, well, it's more of like the city than like the rest yeah. of Sweden. And then where are you from? Are you from like the I'm North from... Pole? <laughs> <laughs> your, your friends no, with I'm like. I'm from Puerto South. So I'm from. Uh, oh, yeah. It's like. Why? In America, they have like all this media thing. It's like. Um, like getting destroyed. Oh yeah, and, like, I know. <laughs> is it not very bad? Um, I mean, it's not like ideal, but yeah, it's just pretty messy. It's just kind of so we since we're we're like by the bridge where everyone comes through. Yeah. So it's just kind of there was like a wave of people coming in and we didn't really know what to do with them. No. Yeah. But it's fine now. Like you're in charge. Everyone, are you like the mayor of? Oh yeah. Mayor no. of Mama. What <laughs> is your, what is your I'm name? Here. I'm What's oh, your name? Hello. <laughs> you don't have that much of an accent. You have a very American oh, accent. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I've tried. <laughs> I know. Oh, Svenska. Jotibori. There yeah. You go. A little bit of where, Swedish. How, where do you know Swedish from? Um, I actually, I was in like this play once and it, it was like a Swedish play and I mm -hmm. used a bit of Swedish in it. That's all I remember. That's you have a boyfriend. I wouldn't call him a boyfriend now. Let me grab your number. Austin Carlson. Number one defenseman in Sweden. Uh. Carlson scores! First NHL goal. That's fun. Yeah. Well, are guess you... where I'm from. America? Where do I look? Where do I look? A guy wearing a backwards hat. Where is he from? America. America. That's right. I'm from America. <laughs> yeah. And I'm from. Uh, do you have like German, um, like? I do. Yeah. I'm actually part Swedish. I'm like 1.7% Swedish. <laughs> oh, you've done one of those DNA tests? Yeah, yeah. So I spit into a vial and I seek. I send it off, yeah. sequence it, and apparently I'm 1.7% Swedish, 0.4% cool. yeah. Jewish, no black. Just so I can't say the N word. It sucks. Yeah. Don't you? You're you're zero percent black. Uh, yeah, 100. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. You look like you don't skip leg day. No, I am. Um, I'm an athlete, so. Wait, I'm, what? Is, wait, I, wait, wait, yeah. wait. Okay. <laughs> Long jump? <laughs> no. No. Well, I jump. I do diving. Oh, okay. So you yeah. sp you spin a lot. Yeah. Right. Is it is that good for you to spin that much? Um, Do you get dizzy like I, when you're in the pool and you're like <laughs> disoriented, like where am, who's president? And they're like Donald um, Trump, and you, you're like, what's going on? <laughs> you should definitely not do diving when you're hungover. So just you've done it when you're hungover. Yeah. Not, How old are you? Not a good. Age. I'm 19. Oh my God, you can't even you can't even legally drink here. No. <laughs> what is here. the what is the age of drinking in Sweden? Like 18. 12? <laughs> 18. 18. Yeah. Wait, where are you walking? We, I'm going that way. Por qué? going to the dorms. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, wait, what were we saying? This uh, is, we've gone, we've gone, we've covered a lot of ground in this conversation right? so far. Yeah. I don't want to hold you up, by the way, if you're, if you're like no, in a rush. No, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I just finished my last exam, so. Oh yeah, so you're hungover, you're diving, someone <laughs> tells you Donald Trump's president, you don't believe them. <laughs> what, what is going on? A lot, apparently. I play ultimate frisbee. We both play sports that aren't really like considered sports. Oh, you wouldn't consider diving a sport? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'd consider it an activity. Oh, well, well, a lot of people... Well, I don't skip leg day, that's, that's for sure. So you use deadlift? Yeah. I'm going to deadlift today. Oh, really? Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. I was Dude, gonna there's no better right feeling than when you deadlift. You feel like such a badass. Yeah, like, you're right. <sighs> I, I can't really do it right now because my back is hurting. Like, I have a back injury. But I do, Excuses. like, leg press and, Excuses. like, pitch arc. <laughs> you know, I have bruises here from, from pitch arc. You know What's what? pitch arc? So you have like a belt around and then it goes down and then you put weight down there and then you bend. Wow. Or, yeah. Sounds very uh, intensive. Yeah, it is. A belt? Oh, like a band, yeah? Yeah, like a Elastic belt. band. No, no. A, no? a belt with okay. weight on it. I wear belts. They're, they're pretty tight. <laughs> I don't attach. But I know what you mean. Yeah, it's like a belt that goes around with a chain. Yeah. Yeah. But it, like the chain is attached to the pitch arc. 
mm-hmm. which is like a construction that has weight on it. So you put as much weight you want and then... And for you, it's just like a couple cars on each side, a couple of Volvos. Do yeah, you, do Swedish you cars. <laughs> <laughs> put a couple of PewDiePies on each side. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he left he... your country. He's in England. I know. What a traitor. Well, I... Well, you're a traitor too. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of understand him. So is your dad like... Does he work at Ikea or...? No. No? Well, how does that work? What does he do? Um, he works in Sweden. In Sweden? Yeah. Or kind of. He works around okay. everywhere. Kind of. uh, at a company called... Oh, like... Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's an online, like, learning site. Oh, really? No. You don't even know what your dad does? Yeah, but I know it's not that company. You're like, he's like, honey, I, I had this great day where you're like, save it, dad, shut the fuck up. I don't, no one cares about you. I had a diving thing today, I do, do hung over. You, you, I feel like you think I'm really rude. <laughs> no. You're very polite. Sweet. Aren't Swedish people supposed to be very polite? Yeah, they are. They're very... But shy. Yeah. 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 I've, I, I've kind of gotten out of my shell moving to America. Yeah, you have to, because yeah. then people with black You're backwards social. hats. You just walk no, up very to shy. Any, any person? Uh, yeah, just, just any. Typ- typically Swedish blogs. Yeah, I, <laughs> German looking ones. Yeah, German yeah. looking ones. I just, that goes off my radar. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it is like the most friendly place. Really? Yeah, it's supposed to be. Are you from or are you from No, somewhere? I'm from Miami. Miami? Have you oh. heard of it? Yes, I have. Have you been there? No. We have where, where else have you traveled in your um, life? Oh, like around everywhere kind of. Asia. I've been to Asia. I've been around Europe. Where in Asia? You've been to Thailand for sure. Uh, yeah, but I don't remember it. I was too young. It's weird how certain places are like, like Swedes go, go to, to Thailand. Thailand. So do Russians. My, my parents aren't that, those Swedes. Like, they usually go to like more, like not so touristy places. So... Mm-hmm. Yeah, we went to China. My dad lived in China, so that's why Damn. we went there. So you're part Chinese, probably. <laughs> As well, yeah. Your mom looks Swedish. Your dad probably looks Swedish. They're both Swedish, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're I'm pale, a, blonde, I'm a li- freckly, <laughs> blue eyes. I'm a little German. I have blue actually. eyes too. Yeah, you do. Our kids would be Aryan. We'd have like little Aryan. <laughs> you know, people goose tell me that all the time. Like, you gotta find like a. Sweden was person. neutral. Yeah. In both world wars. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so um, good on you. Yeah, America didn't really. You guys aren't aggressive. You're just you're just passive aggressive. <laughs> you're like this war is so petty. You fucking losers. We, we had like we had so we had like posters put up in every almost every home mm-hmm. that had that said um, that had a picture of a tiger and said Swedish tiger because mm-hmm. tiger in Swedish like the word the meaning of it is that they're being quiet. Mm. Tiger means quiet. Yeah, tiger. Tiger. Yeah. Man, Swedish is it such a difficult language. Way. I heard there's some place in northern Sweden where they have like, man, something's like a sound that's not even a sound. It's like, or something. That's like a something they talk with. Oh yeah. What is it? And then, yeah. It's like oh, it's like a whistle or no, something. No, they say yes. They say like, yeah, they do it like that. Like they say yes, and instead of saying yes, they just like up or something. I, oh, okay. I don't remember like the exact what they do, but it's so weird. Here in the Umeå, we say uh, and that means yes. It's fucking weird. They probably just ride reindeer to get around. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like Uber? You know, they do in, Nor- in the northern Sweden, like... Yeah, they just put a saddle on one. They have reindeers and, like, sleds with... Reindeer tastes so good. Have you eaten it? I actually haven't. I kind of... It kind of destroyed like, my... I've, I've eaten deer, but not reindeer. Yeah. Have, you, have you ever gone hunting? No, I haven't. We should go. <laughs> no, actually, we shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, what are you going to hunt? A coyote? A cactus? <laughs> We'll just go. You like you sneak up on a cactus and just like. I feel like, like that could be the only thing that I could actually catch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not a hunter. What would you catch? You would dive. You would catch a fish. Oh my god! In Thailand, okay, you've probably done this, but I, I, we hiked up this seven-layer waterfall, and then each layer we kind of like we smoked a little bit of weed. I'm sorry if you don't smoke weed, but it was it was really great. And then in we'd go into the water. Yeah. Yeah. Into the water, you swim around in the waterfall area, mm-hmm. and there's like fish eating your feet. They like nibble on your feet. Oh no way! That's so cool. It was. It's like you you let you just like stand still for five seconds. Yeah. They do it, and then it gets overwhelming. It, yeah. it kind of feels like like that. Yeah, over I've and done over. like the like you know in like the, tourist places yeah. they have like but they're just a few fishes. So mm-hmm. like, they're dying. Do you like bubble tea? <laughs> yeah, I do. What do you What are you doing this weekend? Are you just are you going out or are you just? Like I'm chilling? actually like this is the first weekend for a long time that I'm free. We should 
Let me see what my schedule's like. Let me check my oh, iCal. <laughs> my calendar. <laughs> Let me just check Let me how see busy where, I am. I, I'm a very, I'm pretty busy. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm free. What do you do in your free time? My free time? Yeah. I, I own like a, a production studio. Do you know what that is? Yeah. So I do videography, photography. That's so cool. What are you studying? Um, oh, damn, girl. You smart. <laughs> <laughs> you good at math? Um, yeah, I have math. <laughs> Did your parents force you to do this? No. Dude, they, they like didn't. indoctrinated my friend. My friend's parents, the whole, his whole life growing up, they're like, you're going to be an engineer. You're going to be the best oh, engineer. Is he Chinese? No, he's, he's like Italian, but oh, okay. same thing. I feel like, whatever. Same thing. <laughs> Okay, so Saturday I can pencil you in for a 6 p.m. bubble tea appointment. <laughs> Little head <laughs> before. Can... Oh, be... you really are busy. Yeah, like I have tons of calls <laughs> and whatnot. How do you feel about bubble tea on Saturday at 6 p.m. with a cute American boy? In Tempe, <laughs> I never Arizona? told you you were cute. The f well, I know I'm, I am. I don't need. <laughs> I don't need your fucking validation in your opinion. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> No. Yeah. I feel like every person in Sweden has high self-esteem. I feel like you guys have very good families. Oh, really? No, yeah. I don't think so. They're so shy. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I, not... And in Sweden, you're, like, not supposed to think that you're good at anything. <sighs> oh, yeah. It's supposed to be everyone's kind of, like, the same. Average. Yeah. If you are above average, you're, like, oh, I find I'm that sorry. kind of retarded, to be honest. Because then the I people who are exceptional, they feel like they can't, like, be exceptional. Mm -hmm. Whereas America, we kind of tolerate the narcissistic assholes that are geniuses, you know? <laughs> Yeah. Like Kanye West thinks he's a god. Yeah, and then you have like, but then some people just go a little overboard. Yeah. I like Elon Musk. Do you like him? Um, who? Sorry. <laughs> no, he's the guy who owns Tesla. Oh my god, yes, I should have known that. I, I want. Fuck! No, I. I I blacked out. I, I, I blacked out. <laughs> You're I always blacking out and going <laughs> and getting hang hung over. <laughs> I swear to God, I've watched like his TED talks and everything. He's so cool. Is he your favorite? <laughs> it's okay. I hit puberty recently as well. <laughs> <laughs> My balls dropped yesterday. Okay, you were. Wait, what's your number? Do you have an American number? Yeah, I do. Thank the fucking Lord. I mean, I Lord. live in America. I hate adding people on WhatsApp. I'd rather kill myself than add another person on I WhatsApp. I really hate WhatsApp, too. Okay, just, just fill out the short form for a second. We both like to talk a lot. Wait, how, how, do you, how would you spell my name? Did you remember it? Okay, it's going to be like this. There's going to be some weird apostrophe on this, yeah? No, it's just a normal light. Oh, fuck. Good job. Yeah. It's always spell it wrong. They spell it I-E. What's your last name? Wait, wait. Do you know what? Carlson. Like, <laughs> uh, wait, wait. We have a Swede on the team, or half Swede, and his name's Carlson, but... Um, Lundqvist. That's actually a good guess, but no. Lundens Marsen. I didn't spell it like you would in Sweden. How do you pronounce this? Oh, uh, in but I... You want um, to make some um, shotpular with me? <laughs> oh my god, do you know how to meet, make shotpular? I do. Okay. Maybe, I, it would be too much for you to come over to make chapulada. Yeah. Know that. But in the future. <laughs> Let's start with bubble tea. <laughs> I, this has literally been, I don't know how this got on my bucket list, but I want to make chapulada with a, uh, with a Swedish person. <laughs> oh, did that just pop up right now? No, no. I, this was actually something on my mind before. I met a Swedish girl who was a, like a, a meat chef in Sweden. She was like, that's her whole role in the restaurant. Because in Sweden, you guys have really good quality yeah. in restaurants. And that's all she did. And mm -hmm. I was gonna make shot to pull out of her. We met, we never made it. Uh -huh. And so I'm kind of disappointed. Oh yeah, what's your number? Oh right, I gotta put that in too, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not just my name. Do you remember my name? I don't think I introduced myself. You never said your name, so. Mi nombre es Austin. Austin? Yeah. That's a very American name. Very. What's your last name? Uh. Good. Like Smith. What if it was? Are you laughing at my name? No. Are you, are you judging me for being American? <laughs> you racist? You're, <laughs> you're judging me you're for being You're racist, xenophobic. <laughs> um, okay, here you go. Austin. I would have spelled that with an I. What? You so oh yeah, because that's the most common way. Yeah. My mom hates Texas. She hates like everything Texas stands for. But she likes Jane Austen who wrote Pride and Prejudice, uh, that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, I know her. Yeah, she's a good, she's a good gal. Yeah. Your mom or Jane Austen? Uh, both. <laughs> yeah. My mom's great. Yeah. Is your who do you uh, resonate more with, your mom or your dad? Um, both. I'm very mixed. You know, it's the funniest question. 
<laughs> Sometimes when I go out at night, I'll fuck with people and I'll be like, who'd you rather fuck, your mom or your dad? Go. <laughs> Gun to your head, you have to choose. 30 seconds, who'd no. you rather bang? No. You'd rather die? Yeah. Would you actually rather die than just like... I am not gonna fuck my parents. What if you told your dad, like, listen, I'm held at gunpoint, it's fine. What if you don't have to fuck them, you just have to see them naked? Oh, that wouldn't matter. Yeah. You probably, it's like, nudist it, is very yeah. common there, right? No, not nudist, but just like, it's not like that big of a deal seeing someone naked. Yeah, that, that's the thing that's so funny about like the US Especially versus like with Europe. Their families, because like, I mean, they saw me grow up. I was running around naked all the time, but. Yeah, <laughs> but you never saw them. What if at like 18 yeah, it switches and they're too. just like running around? Like, not anymore. Like, it's not like we run around naked around the house, but I don't know, like a couple years ago. Mm-hmm. Wait, what was a couple of years ago? Like, 10 years ago, they stopped running around naked in the house. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because then do we you, were, like, older. Do you, is this your boyfriend? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Let me introduce you. <laughs> Damn, look at that style, though. Mm. Mm. Did you lift today? No. You know what? I dove today. We should, we should continue the stimulating conversation over bubble tea. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. It was lovely meeting you. Right. I hope you have no, a, a, a wonderful rest of your day in the... I don't but know, you what, never what you said do? your last name. Oh, do you want me to send it? Yeah. Are you going to stalk me? <laughs> sure, of course I am. You come up to me in the middle of nowhere, or not really, but <laughs> of course I'm going to look you up. Is this, is this a... Is this a... Oh, do you want to, do you want to just see my... That's really Swedish. Do you want to just see my That's Instagram? That's why you asked Lindquist. I'll send you my Instagram. Oh wait, it's not capitalized. Lundqvist. You're just screaming out your Instagram, man. Follow me on Instagram. No, no one cares. Dude, it's hard to get people to care, you know? There's so much stimulation these days, you gotta like cut through the noise. <laughs> yeah, he you know was saying? stimulated. Oh, I'll stimulate him, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of phone is this? iPhone. Oh, nice. You're pretty fun to hang out with. Ideal of... Wow, how narcissistic can you be? This goes really well with. Look, this is like your freckle color. This is your eye color. This is your skin color. White. <laughs> White as fuck, brah. Dude, uh, yeah. you're freckly just like the me. The thing is, like, I work out outside. Okay, well, you, well, I know that you work out, okay? You don't have to keep no, bragging about it. No, I mean, I dive outside. Hey, everyone, she works out. <laughs> you know the. You dive outside? The song. I work out. Yeah, that's yeah, you. That's me. I, 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 I work out. Time. And wait, isn't that Miami bitch? Yeah. I'm in Miami bitch. No, 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 that, that's a different song. Oh, no, you're that's, right. That's um, walking to the car. Yeah, this is for the scene. Damn, you're so thug, bro. <laughs> you should wear, you should wear, you should oh, wear really? this hat. No, <laughs> I'm not American enough. Thug, thug. <laughs> yeah. This hat literally says daddy. Oh, yeah. I, Hello, I, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Is that, is that your thing? You have a daddy kink? No. No, no, I, I do not. <laughs> I feel like people either say it as a joke or as like serious, Just like, no. and it's both. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah, I understand. It's okay. <sighs> Wait, what are you doing right now? Are you hungry? <laughs> I was gonna go work out now. Damn, you dove then you work out. Yeah. Yeah, I'm actually gonna work out after this, but I found a gym closer to me. Mm. I live. Um, I'll show you. Do you know what a map is? Have you ever seen a map before? No, what is it? So this basically, this is like a 2D representation of uh, the world. Wow. So it's like here we are on the map. This would be so helpful when you like People probably didn't around. even use maps for a very long time. Except they were like ship captains or something. Um, so yeah, here, I am here. Oh, you know what would be fucking sick? Do you, have you ever hiked Black Mountain? I haven't. Do you want to do that? Don't do legs that day. Just climb the mountain. Okay. You know, let's get let's get bubble tea first. So, I don't yeah, know. Would you be more comfortable with that? Um. <laughs> Man, I love doing outdoorsy shit. Hi, Earl. Me you? too. I love that, but I just I, I never find someone to do it with. Well. Because my roommate is literally well, like. Well, maybe maybe this is fate. Maybe. <laughs> like, uh, you're getting very close. <laughs> maybe. Okay. Sorry. Let's keep. Let's be serious. This is very serious business. Okay. Okay. okay we're okay. This is Hawaii. Like, oh, you went to Hawaii like when? Um, it's like a couple months ago. That's 
But yeah, this is a picture frame. My friend uh, from, my friend's friend mm -hmm. died here. Yeah, so she was like taking a selfie for her boyfriend and fell off this, this ledge. Oh my God. Talk Where else? Doing bad selfies. Oh man, I don't have as many cool nature pictures I would like up, sorry. Oh, Sorry, bro. Well, it looked very cool. Yeah. Well, it was lovely meeting you. Nice to meet you, too. I hope you have oh, a great workout. Like a little thug there. Yeah. Well, I mean, you are thug. Um, and we'll hang out Saturday. Let's get bubble tea. And bubble then tea. perhaps afterward, we could go on a hike. Sounds perhaps. good. All right. All right. Bye. I'll see you. So on the way to the date, I talk with the Uber driver, or if I get to the date location early, I'll talk with the staff or people outside. So here I meet her outside, crack a joke to break the ice basically. And then I discuss the plan, which is going to get bubble tea, which we're there, and then going to a garden to take some cool photos. If you're curious, usually on the first date, I pay for everything. This is generally the safer move to pay on the first date. And especially if it's something really cheap, like bubble tea that costs like $3 a person, then there's really no reason why you shouldn't pay for uh, yours and hers allows her to relax feel more feminine on the date she doesn't have to think about money or change etc and put you in a more uh, masculine role here i'm waiting for the uber there was an issue with the uber driver like he didn't he couldn't find where we were but that's okay you just call him up and and you figure it out anytime there's a hiccup in the date something you know goes off plan that's okay one of the most alpha traits is to be calm under pressure so just deal with the situation if you're calm about it she'll be calm about it we've known each other for 24 hours a little more 25 oh damn you've been I, well, who's counting, you know? <laughs> you have a timer on your phone? <laughs> timer since I've known Austin. And yeah, I pay here as well. Now we're just taking some, some cool photos. Um, as a side note, this is something that you can use to demonstrate your strength in a way that's not try hard. It's just fun, put the girl on your back and you know, it just shows some physical strength without you having to uh, brag about yourself, really. I have her take some photos of me. I take some photos of her. And then at this point, I feel I just felt like there was so much sexual tension that uh, it was a good time to go for a kiss. So I, I pick her up, go in for the kiss. And yeah, she's a really good kisser. It was great. We continue our tour like nothing happened and maybe here and there you see here i'm doing some like romantic stuff with the flower <laughs> um give her a kiss on the cheek here but you know i'm not there's no heavy make out or kissing until the time that i bring her home why do i do that it's basically to build the the sexual tension back up again and use that to pull here just dancing allows you, you two to like kind of get more physically comfortable. You can teach her something new, uh, you're leading. I mean, it's, it's just a good thing to do. Dates should be fun, they should be adventurous, they should be playful, they shouldn't be an exchange of information, they shouldn't be super formal, you shouldn't spend the entire date in one spot. Ideally you have like a couple places to go to, you know, at the very minimum, meet the girl outside. <laughs> I know yes you can have girls come straight to your place, however, even if you have the girl like for a date at home, it, it can be better to meet in public, it, you deal with all the safety concerns, instead of messaging back and forth, you know, over the course of a day trying to convince her to come straight to your place you could just invite her to an ice cream shop or a bubble tea place or coffee right next to your house and then meet her there then and then go to your house you see, you literally save time meeting her in public than you would otherwise spend messaging her trying to convince her but she meets you in public she has a good vibe with you she's like you know what this is okay let me go back to this place if you're wondering what i used to seed the pool i showed her a video of the cute dog at the place i was staying and i told her we could make some uh, vegan smoothies and yeah now we here we are I also introduce her to everyone at the house to make her feel more comfortable. Here she's talking with my assistant Gonzalo. 
and I introduce her to the dog. I give her a tour of the place and even out front, I, you know, give her the address of the place so that she feels more safe there and she knows where she's at. So first I have her sit on the couch while we, we drink this uh, smoothie my host made us. I escalate a bit by putting her legs on mine. Then I have her sit on my lap. We make out a bit and I pick her up and bring her into my room and a gentleman never quite remembers what happens. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Drop a like if you've made it this far. It enables me to make these videos. Also, if you could share this video in your pickup groups too, that'd be awesome. And a special announcement, I'm recruiting an assistant and a video editor. There is no experience necessary for the assistant role, but for the videographer editor role there is. Uh, if you're interested in more information on either role, a video explaining the positions is in the link below. It's also where you can find the links to apply for the position. Talk soon.